Adam Kavicius stepping through the ropes. Both of these two in terrific shape. It's a big weight division stretching between 81 kilos and, and 91. You do get some small heavyweights at times for that reason, because they're too big for light heavyweight. They can't possibly do 81. But maybe their, their optimum weight would be that old weight division of 86. So they're not really big enough for heavyweight. But these two full at the weight. Gorbatenko of Ukraine in the red, Adam Kavishas of Lithuania in the blue. Round one. Gorbatenko, Southport. Landing a couple to the body early on. Adam Kavishas looking to try and come forward. He's been caught two or three times. There was a left hand on the inside there. I think hit him pretty clean and square on the chin. Short little left hand to the body, then a right into the body and another left. Good movement this from Gorbatenko as well. Adam Kavicius is trying to get onto the front foot and hunt him down, but he's just turning him, keeping on turning him. right uppercut there as Adam Kavicius walked in on him. He's got to be a little bit clever about this, the Lithuanian, because at the minute, like I say, he's, he's got the guard up and he is just walking in on him. And Gorbatenko's too good for that. He's too good for that. He'll find angles. Short little punch into the pit of the stomach, down the hook, and then just spins off. And there's another body shot. Solid left hand to the head there from Gorbatenko. Couple of good left hands there though from Adam Kavicius. To the head and then down to the rib cage. I think a left hand that got through there might have hurt him a bit. The legs. Just looks slightly shaky there for a second. The knees went a little bit loose. The left hand on the inside, maybe kind of screw shot uppercut, and he's picking him off as he comes in again. Here, Adam Kavishit is in is in trouble here. He's right on the receiving end, and the referee jumps in with a standing count at exactly the right time because I think the next one might have flattened in there, and that is the point of standing counts. Leads off with the right hand here. Gorbatenko is. Looking very, very sharp into the final 30 seconds of the round. Adam Kavish is trying to throw just to, to keep him off. Bit of blood coming from the, from the mouth there of the Lithuanian. Nice short left hand from Gorbatenko. Well, this is the first time I've seen him, and you have to be impressed. Heads cracking together as Gorbatenko's backed up to the ropes. Bell goes at the end of the round. Impressive stuff from the red corner. No great surprise there. But he really had him on the go with that flurry that resulted in the standing count and good bit of work by the referee to, to get in with the standing count there because if he'd been allowed to follow that up, I think Adam Kavicius might have ended up on his back because he was looking open, he was standing tall, the gloves dropped a little bit. So into the second round, Gorbatenko of Ukraine with a very dominant first round is in the red, Adam Kavicius of Lithuania in the blue. And 
no holding is the instruction to Gorbatenko. There's no reason why Gorbatenko would want to indulge in any holding, just demonstrating there that, that he isn't just holding those arms out wide. Two three punch combination there, then just rolled off to his left. Underneath the right hand of Adam Kavicius. trying to step into the right hand there, Adam Kavishas. You can hear the grunt of effort that came when he threw it, got caught by a left hand. He's putting plenty into this. He's working on the theory here that he can get to Gorbatenko bit by bit, that at some point the snap will go off those punches, he'll begin to get tired. That doesn't look like it's going to happen to me. But he's got to stick with that. He's got to believe that, Adam Kavishas. He's got to hold that deer. Gorbatenko just working those hands on the inside there, not putting much on any of them, but still they land. Left uppercut, and again there from Gorbatenko. His punch up, but maybe has just dipped a bit. Maybe the snap has gone off him slightly. That's a good left hand right into the solar plexus, as you would describe it there. But Adam Kavishas just keeps coming. And you have to give him credit. He's sticking to that belief that he can wear Gorbatenko down. It's that left hand that mostly does the damage for Gorbatenko. Boxing out of that southpaw stance. Into the third and final round, this at heavyweight for a place in the quarterfinals. Gorbatenko, European Youth Champion of Ukraine. In the red, Gelmius Adam Kavicius of Lithuania in the blue. But Adam Kavicius will keep doing what he's been doing, which is to try and keep that guard high, walk Gorbatenko down, and keep that faith that he will get to him. Gorbatenko, though, has got very, very good movement. He's not finding this easy, not by any stretch. He scored that standing count in the, in the first round and looked razor sharp. Not quite as sharp in the second because Adam Kavicius is a, he's a decent fighter and he's a big unit and he's just leaning on him at times and that's going to take a little bit out of, of Gorbatenko. Leads off with a right uppercut there, Gorbatenko. He's got an array of punches. That much we do know. But you can see that he's feeling the pace a bit there as he's just over Adam Kavishas' shoulder. Didn't mind just leaning in and nicking a quick rest. Yeah. 
He's having a bit of joy here, the fighter in blue. Nice tight guard. Left hand wasn't totally clean. Goes downstairs with the with the left hand, though. And then just walks him back into the ropes. Again, just leaning on there. He is the physically bigger of the two, you would say. Left hand blocked by the gloves there of Adam Kavicius. Blood coming from the nose there. And the fighter in blue. Referee might get that wiped away in a second. Left to the body. Those are wounding shots from Gorbatenko. He's an Adam Kavicius with plenty of those and he's not shown any signs of ill effect. Another one there. Stop, says the referee. There we go. She's going to get the doctor to have a quick look at that. There is quite a lot of blood, so it does make you wonder what kind of damage there is there. There's not that long left. Not that that'll enter into the equation with the doctor at all. He gives a thumbs up. Final 40 seconds. And it's Gorbatenko's fight. He's going to win this. And he's going to win this final round too because he's put together the, the better punches still. But Adam Kovicius, this has been his best round of the three. Gomshield comes out there after a good combination from Gorbatenko. Knocks it out. But he's kept going, the Lithuanian. He's kept on that front foot. He's kept rumbling forward. He's tried to hold his shape and his boxing together as, as best he can. He's just been outmaneuvered by a very nimble, skillful fighter. But he's given it everything, and that's all you can ever ask. Some nights it is just not your night. Lead right hand there, beautifully timed by Gorbatenko. Sticks in the left and another left. There goes the belt. Good performance by him, good to get a look at him. Heard plenty about him during the course of the week and he lived up to expectations. That first round in particular, he was very, very sharp. Good movement. And try as he might, Adam Kavicius just didn't manage to catch him clean all that often. Probably did his best work to the body, the Lithuanian. There's a familiar pose from him. Guard up, walking in, always walking him down. Ladies and gentlemen, we in my point with the unanimous decision from the red corner, Mikita Gorbatenko, Ukraine. Good win for Gorbatenko and quite a few 10 8s in there. Two 10 8s for Ireland and one each for Israel, Azerbaijan, and Guatemala. So through he goes, the European Youth Champion safely through to the next stage.